Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California and today I'm gonna to do a quick zip around my deck because things are changing. So I want you to see what's going on now. I know you're gonna see a couple things that are new, but I'm not gonna talk about that today because I wanna get into how I'm doing things. Look at this. Yeah, she thinks she's getting broccoli in a minute, Kitty, in a minute. Things are moving. We're moving all this stuff. This came from underneath here. And as you can see, Gary has replaced some of the planks that were in bad shape and he's painting. I didn't ask him. I didn't know he was going to do it, but he saw I was starting to work on the garden and he thought, well, my balcony garden, my deck garden. And so he figured, well, he's going to get in here and do a couple things before I get too serious, even though I'm pretty much getting serious. I'm gonna walk around and show you what I have done, but if you see anything new, I may or may not talk about it because I want to do individual videos on things I'm using, doing, changing, because a lot of times somebody will message me and they'll say, hey, where's that video on refurbishing the tote? And I thought, where is it? I go nuts looking for it, and you know where it is? inside a garden tour or inside a vlog and it's not labeled and I can't find it. So I want to get a little more organized that will help you and probably help me too when I want to go back and look at something as a reminder. This is just the table that I'm going to get stuff going. I've got lettuce going and of course I've got my onions in my tool. You know how I'm doing my tool now and my onions will be going in there with the other onions. That is from early this year probably in the beginning of the year, and there's still a couple onions in there. There's a red onion there. There's, of course, a yellow onion. So I've got onions in there, and I'm pulling them out, and I'm going to replace them very soon with the new onions that I planted. And I've got all this going, and I don't even know if I got into all this, but this is all tool to keep any critters out. It has been fantastic. I can unclip this. I love this. It's kept everything out that I want out and everything in that I want in. So let's look at this. I've got beans growing in here now. I've got a cutting from my purple tree collard. Look at this. The bok choy is doing wonderful and it's spotted with lettuce as well. So I could keep the lettuce in there. Anything little coming up, oops, that I take it out because I can't go, oh, it's a tomato plant and I've got to keep it. I have to stop that. Can't do that because if it doesn't belong there, I've got to get it out. Otherwise, you have too many plants growing and it takes away from each other. So you want the plants that you really want in there to grow. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'll decide on which ones I want to tool. Now I have left right now the sow thistle for the goldfinches. They come in and I want that there. And I am been starting, you know, to collect some of the seeds like this is garlic chives. But this is has not been done yet. This is my purple basil that's dying back and the goldfinches have been coming in and eating the seeds. So I'm going to go through one tote at a time. Look at this. I can call her, but she can't hear me. She is blind and she is deaf and yet she walks around really good. She knows that there's something different. She keeps coming and checking out the deck. She's going to be 16 in a few months. You know, if it wasn't for that, you would never know. She's still beautiful and healthy, but you know, we've tried everything with our vet, and he said, no, it's basically age. But she's doing good. But she knows I'm out here, and she says, this deck is changing. Going to go through all this, decide if I'm going to take out the walking onions and get lettuce or something in there. But there will be some changes. I'm not changing up a lot. I like the way it is all set up, but I am changing a little bit. I know you're seeing things and going, what's that? What's that? How'd you do that? We will get into that very, very shortly. I want to make the videos on a lot of stuff I'm using, even stuff in here, separate so I can find it when you ask me. And then, it, of course, once it's up and running, then I could say, oh, yeah, I can talk about it and everything else. This is going to go. I don't need this. I'll probably put this one in the garden. I want to have hummingbird feeders all around here and water fountains here. And then, well, you can't see it, but I've changed up my window on the other side. I'm very excited on that. I've changed up my window for the hummingbird feeders that anybody could do it, even if they're on the 50th floor. So we'll get into how I do that. And that's basically it. Let's see what's over here. I think it looks really cool. All right, that is just 
a flag. Years ago, I used to sell a lot on eBay and I did flags. And I ended up with all these flags and I thought, what am I gonna do with them? Let me see if I can back up a little bit. Okay. And the stevia does not like the sun. And I thought, let me walk over here, that my stevia was dying back every year because, well, we were going in the fall and winter. No, it turned out it doesn't like the sun because this is very south facing. And all summer, it may be really hot here, but the point is, they get the heat, but they don't get a lot of sun. So the moment the sun came over the house, I realized it started to die back. So I made this and we will get into all this. I do so much with tote lids and I never got it all up. So much with tote lids. This just pulls right out. It's just tomato steaks, zip tied. And look at this. The moment I covered it, can you see the new stevia growing back immediately? It doesn't like the sun. Yet when you buy it in the store, the label will tell you full sun. Well, the first time I bought it, it died right away. And that's why, full sun. Even my oregano was dying back. And my oregano is not that crazy about full sun here. So I'm going to kind of organize this better. I can't, let me spin around. I can't give it a lot of shade because of, well, it, this is basically a balcony garden and it's got no trees above it. All the trees are below. The trees are down there, all the avocado trees and everything. So I can't create shade by trees unless I put some trees on here and I've got my moringa growing there. So what I'm going to do is create shade, be it using tool that I may be setting up or maybe some old flags I've got just attaching them, the tomato steaks, or maybe natural sticks coming off of trees. So I want you to see it now because I want to see myself. The swing is gone. So I want to see when I go back this year as we go into winter, because I'm going to do this all winter, the change is coming. Now, I don't know how many of you are still gardening. So please put the comments in there. Tell me, no, I'm not going to garden until February, March, April, May. Or yes, I'm gardening off a balcony. I want to know how to get things growing now because there's a ton of stuff I can grow. I mean, we can grow all kinds of things here in Southern California and any place that you've got sun and no snow, you can grow a lot of things. A lot of your greens, your onions, your garlic chives, your parsley even. There's a lot of stuff that will grow and you can even create microclimates and even grow more. So tell me what you're doing so I will get an idea of how many of you are doing what and then maybe I can incorporate that when I'm doing to give you ideas and then we can all get more things growing until later and then of course come look at the ravens oh they're having a feast they better not touch my avocado tray so this way i can incorporate what you're doing into what i'm doing and it might give you ideas and you might give me ideas too so i think i've covered all i want to cover today i've got some very exciting new things coming without a doubt i've got new things coming i am so excited on something new i created and we will get into that later. And I will tell you exactly how it's done, different ways of using it, different ways of setting it up. And let's say it's gonna be, I don't know what to call it, the poor man's mini raised bed, or the balcony garden, or the winter indoor garden, because the stuff I'm doing now can go inside as well as outside. So I think I've done all I want to do today. I wanted to do a simple video on what's coming. And isn't that cool? And Gary said, yeah, let's keep this clear. I want to keep that clear. I might use that rack for some stuff. I don't need a bunch of stuff under there. When you start making too much clutter, then you end up with critters that want to hide that come up at night, at night and wander around. But the other thing too is I might be able to, in the new way I'm setting things up, even put some shade plants under there that kitty won't eat and kitty will eat a lot of plants let me see if i've got broccoli kitty kitty do you want any broccoli you know my first words when i was a kid my mother told me was here kitty kitty look at this i got a little broccoli here want to cater to this it is doing beautiful she doesn't think i'm going to give her broccoli kitty are you around i've got broccoli if you're around oh yeah she is yeah she is. look it all right she says that's the food i want and off she goes she was sleeping in the house i'm sure she came out saw not much going on and went back in the house so ask your questions tell me what you're doing isn't this beautiful parsley and garlic chives and 
more parsley here and more walking onion. Oh, I'm, you know, I've been going through here and look, I'm just dumping all the baby walking onions in here until I figure out where I'm going to put them. My daughter, we, I just did a video over there and she didn't have a lot of walking onions, but I realized why. She actually uses the whole onion. She yanks the entire thing out because this has got a small onion on the bottom. And when you do that, you don't end up with the thousands that we have all over here. So there's different ways of using that, but I want to get more walking onions all over and so I can use them both ways if I'm not growing the great big bulb onions. I'll get this planted very soon. I absolutely love the tool. You've already seen the video on that. I'm going to do another one. Up. Look at this. This has been magnificent. I've got stuff growing all over. I love that. You don't even bother. I don't want to get into that. That's another video, but I do have another one I'm going to put out on that because that has changed my life as far as growing seeds in the house and moving things around. So I wanted you to see what Gary did as hard work. We'll talk about it when we do a real balcony or deck garden tour here and we'll get into a whole lot more on all this so with this have a wonderful wonderful day throw me your ideas make your comments and if you don't have any comments just say hi kitty what are you looking for no that's not a piece of broccoli that's a brown leaf somebody wants you groomed why don't you tell them when you get brushed that you don't want to be fussed with and i like going outside and rolling in the dirt with that have a wonderful day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye, everybody.